Mixture problems are word problems which involve creating a mixture from two or more different things and then determining some quantity, such as a percentage, price, number of liters, and so on, of the resulting mixture. There will always be a rate of some sort, such as miles per hour or cost per pound. For example, at Burns Grill, each hamburger costs $8.50 and each bag of fries costs $3.40. How many hamburgers and how many bags of fries can a customer buy with $61.20 if she wants twice as many hamburgers as bags of fries? For a mixture problem like this one where I'm mixing hamburgers and french fries, I find it helpful to form a table where your columns are the amount, rate, and value, and the amount is the quantity of each item. The rate is the rate per item. So, uh, and then the value. So, the value, so in this case here, um, she wants twice as many hamburgers as fries. So, if I let fries be F, then the number of hamburgers would be two times F. For the rate, I know it's $8.50 per hamburger. So I put $8.50 for the rate for the hamburgers and $3.40 for the bags of fries. And how it always works is that the amount times the rate is going to give you the value. Sort of like rate times time is distance. 2 times 8.5 is 17F. And then F times 3.4 is 3.4F. Now this last column is going to give us our equation. So this is going to be the 17F that you paid for the hamburgers, the 3.4F you paid for the, the fries, that should equal to the $61.20. So 17 plus 3.4 is 20.4F. And then divide both sides by 20.4. 61.2 divided by 20.4 is 3. So now let's... Uh, Make sure we understand what's been, uh, we answered the question. She wants, uh, we want to answer how many hamburgers and how many bags of fries. So we know fries was F and we just found F to be three. So that tells me there were three bags of fries and six hamburgers. And if you check, um, so in terms of cost, 3 times 340 is 1020. And then 6 times, uh, let's see, the hamburgers was 850. Would be uh, $51. And if you add those together, that comes up to be $61.20, which is the amount that she had. When a child emptied his coin bank, he had a collection of pennies, nickels, and dimes. There were 20 more pennies than dimes, and the number of nickels was triple the number of dimes. If the coins had a value of $5.40, how many of each type were in the bank? So again, I have the amount, rate, value columns. And in this case, I'm mixing together pennies, nickels, and dimes. And looks like there's 20 more pennies than dimes and three times as many nickels as dimes. So let's say dimes is my variable. I'll call it D. Pennies would be 20 plus D. So there's the D plus 20. And nickels uh, three times. So three times D is 3D. And then the rates. Pennies are worth one cent. Uh, nickels are five cents. Dimes are 10 cents. I would recommend, uh, in this case here, if you don't want to deal with the decimal point, you should convert to cents instead of dollars. So instead of $5.40, I have 540 cents as the total value of the coin bank. For each column, or for each row, you multiply, that gives you the value. So 1 times D plus 20 is D plus 20 cents. 5 times 3D is 15D. 10 times D is 10D. And again, this last column here gives us our equation where we have the D plus 20 plus 15D plus 10D 
is equal to 540. So let's rewrite this. We uh, had, uh, right again, d plus 20 plus 15d um, oops, plus 10d is equal to uh, 540. So we have 1d, 15d, so 1 and 15 is 16, plus 10 more d is 26 d's. Then there's also a plus 20 right there is equal to 540. Subtract 20. So 26d is equal to 520. And then divide by 26. And d is equal to 20. So d was the number of dimes. So that tells you there were 20 dimes. And then going back, we had 20 more pennies than dimes and triple the number of nickels as dimes. Triple the uh, nickels were the triple the number of dimes. So 20 more, 20 more than uh, uh, dimes, 20 more coins than dimes would make it 40 pennies. And then triple the, the 20 gives you 60 nickels.